Welcome back, everyone. I'm Nadia Holtz from sportsbookreview.com, and with me today is SBR consultant Dave Kolakoff. The topic we're talking about today is Derek Rose's knee problems and how they're affecting the betting odds. Hey, Dave, do you think Rose's knee problems are something minor, or is it something, you know, we're making a big deal out of this, a bigger deal out of this? Well, yeah, I think it's uh, a little bit of column A and a little bit of column B, but, you know, in my personal perspective, I know that some people are saying that this is a minor thing, you know, just missed an exhibition game, that doesn't mean a whole lot to me. I think this is actually a pretty big deal. Um, I think that when you take a look at Rose and the fact that he can't play a couple games in a row, you know, he plays the first game, says he's 100%, says he's as good as he's felt, and then the next game, he's got knee soreness again. I mean, this is a disaster, mm -hmm. in my opinion. And uh, no, I'm not embellishing here, it, it here at all or exaggerating. I think it's pretty serious. I think when you take a look at the Bulls this year, um, you know, you're, you're going to have to be concerned with Rose game to game. Is he like Dwayne Wade now? Is it like every game you got to make sure that, you know, he's in the starting lineup? Is he going to be pulled on random nights? I mean, this to me is an issue. He said he's 100%. Why is he not 100% less than a couple weeks later? So uh, to me, I think this is pretty big news. Yeah, I, tof I definitely agree with you. And how does this look on um, the Bulls? Should they be concerned? Do you think um, th they are concerned? with the situation? Yeah, I think the Bulls uh, are internally concerned. I, I think externally, you know, what are they going to say? Yeah, we're screwed. Hey, everybody, we're done. Um, <laughs> so they're obviously not going to say that. Uh, but internally, I think they would have to be concerned. We know that this team is not a title contender without Derrick Rose. Mm -hmm. you know, Tom Thibodeau does a good job with what he's got, uses duct, uh, duct tape and shoestrings to kind of, you know, make this a uh, first round, second round playoff team in the East, but realistically, unless Rose is 100%, this team is not going to be competing with the Cleveland Cavaliers. So internally, I think they are concerned. You know, how long is this knee going to hold up? Is this, you know, the type of thing that's going to be plaguing them later on in the season? Is he going to start well and everything's going to be fine? But, you know, when we get to the grueling stretch of the playoffs, is he going to be able to last? Mm -hmm. And I think those are some of the concerns that the Bulls brass is having right now. Okay, so I'm guessing um, with what you said, you're definitely gonna, you would say for the betters to stay away from betting for the Bulls at the moment? Yeah, well, I think in the early season, you can bet the Bulls lines game to game. You know, I think Rose looked fantastic when he played. So if you want to bet individual spreads, especially early in the year, no problem. But if you're looking at futures, I think you have to be very, very cautious right now uh, in terms of betting anything long term mm -hmm. with a guy who, uh, you know, may not be healthy long term. Everything is contingent. All these futures are contingent on Rose's health. And right now, he can't play, you know, back to back exhibition games. What's going to happen when he's got to go a seven game series, you know, uh, in the Western, or sorry, in the Eastern Conference final against the Cleveland Cavaliers? Uh, I don't think. Um, that there's enough certainty with that knee that you want to be taking, you know, plus 250 right now, which is a very, you know, it's not a huge payout in terms of the Bulls. So you're not really gaining a whole lot, but you're risking a whole lot. Um, and I think that uh, it doesn't make sense right now, given the fact that Rose's knee is clearly not 100%. Well, there you have it. Thank you, Dave, for your valuable insight for sportsbookreview.com. This is Nadia Holtz.